the internet has this huge potential to revolutionize science, and we're only just beginning to, to, um, uh, to realize this. Um, so uh, first of all, it's made science much more open. Uh, people are, are sharing preprints before they're published. Uh, they're discussing them. Um, there's, there's a, there, there are blogs devoted to, to very sp specialized topics in, in, in science. Um, and it sort of pulled back the curtain. Um, so in mathematics, for example, uh, you normally only publish um, techniques that work. You, know, you, 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 you try your problem, uh, you try attacking your problem. You, you, you try 10 different things, nine don't work, and the 10th one does, and you publish the 10th thing. But, but often the, um, the process of, of going through the other nine um, 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 arguments, seeing why they don't work, is, is very instructive. I think this is a, a great positive that uh, science and mathematics are becoming much more open. This was a conjecture which had been open for, I don't know, 80 years or so. Um, about three or four years ago, there was um, a big push by um, uh, Tim Gowers, who's a Fields medalist, uh, to, uh, to attack this problem um, in a massively collaborative way. So he had invented this, this new style of doing mathematics, these, on, these online collaborative projects called polymath projects, where you, you get many dozens of mathematicians together online and very openly to, to work together on a problem. And I participated in that. Um, and they didn't solve the problem, um, but they managed to reduce the problem to a simpler problem. Uh, but um, uh, it was a problem of a number theoretic nature. But at the time, the, uh, the number theory was not advanced enough to solve that problem. So uh, eventually, they, they, uh, the project kind of petered out. Um, but this year, early this year, there was a big breakthrough in number theory. Um, people understood a certain type of number theoretic function called a multiplicative function much better. Uh, and I was able. Um, Actually, I, I didn't realize the two were connected uh, until I was writing on my own blog about these things. And um, some blog commenter who was, had worked on this previous polymath project commented that um, these new breakthroughs in, um, in number theory were, uh, could sounded connected to this, uh, this discrepancy problem uh, and, and, and this previous attempt to prove this discrepancy problem. Um, and at first, I didn't believe him, but it, actually, I looked back and checked there was a connection. And uh, so I, 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 I worked at it. And actually, very quickly, I, I found um, that uh, it only needed one more idea somehow, and it all came together. I kind of view mathematics as, as like climbing uh, you know, cliffs, trying to reach you know, various goals. And, and there, there are some peaks that are just completely out of reach. Um, so in, in number theory, for example, one of these is the Riemann hypothesis. Um, this very famous, very old conjecture about the prime numbers, which would have so many um, implications, but no one has a clue how to seriously attack it. The problem which is, uh, I would love to solve, which is most within reach, uh, is the twin prime, twin prime conjecture. Um, it's, a, it's an old conjecture about uh, um, whether th um, there are infinite many pairs of primes that are what are called twins, that are distance two apart, like 11 and 13. Um, so our current methods are not quite able to solve this, this conjecture, I and mean, we understand why there are limitations. Uh, we can get very close. Uh, just about a year or two ago, I was involved in a project that showed that you can get pairs of primes, which are um, not quite two apart, but at most uh, 246 apart, uh, which, was a, uh, which was quite a breakthrough actually compared to what, what had been done before. Um, but um, yeah, we, we, we can't reach two. Um, but I think we're only like one or two new ideas away from that. I think maybe in the next 10 years that, that one will be, will be close to solved.